It's been 13 years, but I'm still anxiously awaiting a National Treasure 3. I've been thinking for a while now, what do I want to react to as my first video after all of the Avatar franchise reactions? That was such a big part of my channel for a couple months, and then I have to figure out what is the next thing that I'm going to do. I had narrowed it down to two movies, National Treasure and Knives Out. So I posted a poll on my Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go do that. I post a lot of fun stuff, including polls asking you guys what you want to see on my channel, as well as behind the scenes of my filming and editing process. Basically, by the end of it, it was 50-50 between the two movies. But today, I'm reacting to one of my all-time favorite movies, National Treasure. I think this franchise is one of the best. This movie, I feel like, largely defined my childhood in the sense that it was really one of the first, if not the first thing, to ever really get me interested in history. Granted, this movie is incredibly historically inaccurate. If you don't know that, you should, because it's about invisible maps on the Declaration of Independence and conspiracy theories around secret societies. The majority of this film is not historically accurate, but at eight years old and seeing little instances of important history in our country, whether it be the Silence Do Good Letters or the boat that they are searching at the beginning, like all these little pieces of American history that I had never learned about, it was really one of the first things to ever get me invested in history. I love this movie. I'm still waiting for National Treasure 3 to this day and I'm just excited to watch this again. Before we start the video, please make sure to subscribe for more movie and TV reactions. I post new videos every week. Also, let me know in the comments below what movies you guys think I should react to next. And with that, let's go. Grandpa. You're not supposed to be up here. I totally forgot that Christopher Plummer is in this. Know. Granted, I mean, he's literally only in the opening scene, but I completely forgot about Christopher Plummer. The fact that he is still acting to this day is wild. Like, good for him. My grandfather's grandfather, Thomas Gates. And then that's the guy who played Jackson in Hannah Montana. Jason Earls, I think is his name. Wild. It's really been a hot minute since I've seen this film. Over the next century, they smuggled it out of Europe. I think a huge part of it has to do with the fact that the score in this film absolutely slaps. A good film score can make or break a film. See, this is what I'm telling you about. Like, this movie made history seem so cool. Crossing this kind of terrain with nothing more than dog sleds and on foot. Can you imagine? The fact that Sean Bean is also in this film is wild. Don't go by me. I broke a shoelace this morning. It's, it's a bad omen. The character of Riley Poole is such a slept on character. I have said this for years, that Riley Poole is one of my all time favorite characters in a film. I just, I love his attitude. His jokes are so straight faced and serious, but they're still iconic. I think that is so unrealistic that the one part that he happens to dig up says the word Charlotte. Like, of all the parts of the boat, the name of the boat is what you find. And how did they dig that up that fast? I remember this part scaring the crap out of me. I don't do well with dark, ominous crap. There's a reason I don't watch scary movies. I get spooked too easily. See? Even right there, there was a little bit of a freak out. You handled that well. I am Riley. I am Riley and Riley is me. If I remember correctly, I think this movie is PG, which I always found wild because they are out here literally trying to murder people and there's dead bodies. That just doesn't feel PG to me. For symbols. How can you read that? The legend writ, the stain affected, the key in Half of that is unreadable. The key in silence could be... Prison. Albuquerque. See, I can do it too. <laughs> it describes what was penned. It was iron. It was firm. It, it was adamant. It I feel like resolved. watching him figure this out is like resolved. the National Treasure version of Sherlock. Like, Mr. trying Mr. to figure out how all these little things Mr. match Mr. up. The resolution that 55 men signed. 
the Declaration of Independence. Prime example of what I'm talking about, about how this movie made history seem so epic and cool. There we go, just exploding another piece of history. The FBI gets 10,000 tips a week. They're not gonna worry about something they're sure is This 2004 Everyone outfit, it's like 2004 meets to believe us the 70s with help. these like really pointed collars. Thank you. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Hi. When I first saw this movie, I wanted to be Abigail Chase so bad. I think she is the coolest woman that exists. And also, I love Diane Kruger. The location of, <clears throat> of hidden items of historic and intrinsic value. The way he's explaining this to her is basically any time I've ever needed to write a paper and reach a certain word count. May I see the pipe? We don't have it. Did Bigfoot take it? It is their right, it is their duty to throw off such government and provide new guards for their future security. It means if there's something wrong, those who have the ability to take action have the responsibility to take action. Wow, that still holds up today. When it's not on display, it is lowered into a four foot thick concrete steel plated vault. Another reason I love Riley, he's just whipping out the information and the detailed facts. Do you know what the preservation room is for? Delicious jams and jellies? If only? Huh. I never noticed until now how much chest hair Nicolas Cage has uh -huh. and how blatantly it's on display. I think what also made this movie so good and fun is the little like, espionage spy elements added into it. So you've got this really interesting balance between old school history and modern spy movies. Wow, a camcorder. Truly old school, but I'm here for it. I would love to go to a gala like that. The chance to get all dressed up to the nines at the National Archives. Had we lost the war, they would have been hanged, beheaded, drawn and quartered. And, oh, oh, my personal favorite. Had their entrails cut out and burned. burned. So, here's to the men who did what was considered wrong in order to do what they knew was right. Why is he, bl I never understood why he was so blatantly like hinting at her that he was about to do this. That's a mood. Good night. Good night. Good night. She's like, that man can drink. I don't want to know how much that champagne cost. Two kinds of people. One who does it the intelligent but non-harmful way. The other who just does it in the brutal, stupid way. I'm taking the whole thing. I'll get it out in the elevator. What are you talking? Is it heavy? <laughs> That's the biggest mood. Where did he dispose of the frame? Did you enjoy the party? Yeah. <laughs> there is no way anybody could hold on to that. I would have been flown across the street. Not hurt, are you? You were all lunatic. You hungry? <laughs> you hungry? All right. Still a little on edge from being shot at, but I'll be okay. <laughs> Thanks for asking. We got a tip several days ago that someone was going to steal the Declaration of Independence. There was no file opened. We uh, didn't find the information credible. How about now? Who was shooting? Who were they shooting at? And why weren't they getting along? Asking the real questions. We need those letters. What letters? The silence do good letters. How'd you get scans? Well, I know the person who has the originals. Now shush. Why do you need them? She really can't shut her mouth, can she? I will say, I'm not a fan of the way he treats her in these first couple scenes. It's incredibly condescending, and it pisses me off a little bit. Let me go. Okay. 
I love the cinematography in this movie. When they do these really cool shots from the streets with the monuments blurry in the background. I feel like nowadays with how much is on the internet, you could easily get scans of those letters online. Like you might have to pay a premium from an academic archive, but they shouldn't be that hard to find. I'm in a little trouble. Is she pregnant? I look pregnant. <laughs> and he dragged you two into this nonsense? Literally. I volunteered. Well, unvolunteer. <laughs> and someone who's trained to handle antique documents is gonna do it. Yes, girl. I wanted to be her growing up, trained in handling antique documents. I told you. You need, need heat. The Declaration of Independence. Yes, and it's very delicate. Had I been him and picked that up and freaked out, I 100% would have accidentally ripped it. Last one, okay? One more dollar. Thank you. I would have charged a lot more than a dollar. Have you ever told someone, not a relative, I love you? Yes. More than one someone? It's none of your business. You don't know this? I, I know something about history that you don't know. I'd be very excited to learn about it, Riley. Oh, hold on one second, let me just... I'm just taking this moment. This is cool. <laughs> is this how you feel all the time? <laughs> Do you actually know who the first person to suggest daylight savings was? Benjamin Franklin. I love Riley. Again with the cinematography. So what do we do with them? We look through it. The last time this was here, it was being signed. <sighs> ben, there's another tour coming. Turn it over. <clears throat> Riley's here with the realistic priorities. And he's off. Just trying to hide from my ex-husband. <sighs> Baldy. We are going to get back the Declaration of Independence. You help us find it. And you, you still go, go to, to prison, prison for a very long time. But you feel better for inside. <laughs> but you feel better Is inside. And he jumps. That is so high. I've jumped from high cliffs. That is massively high. Agent Dawes, do you have a visual? Can you see gates in the water? Sir, it's the Hudson. Nothing is visible. That Hudson is nasty. Does anybody else remember the TikTok that was going around like two weeks ago? Of the girl who swam in the Hudson? Because everyone freaked out because it's disgusting. No broken bones. Jump like that could kill a man. No, was... That's what I'm saying. Trinity Church. We have to go inside Trinity Church. She is buried in Trinity Church near you. When I went to New York City a couple of years ago, I specifically had Trinity Church on my list, both because of the graves of Alexander Hamilton and his family, and two, because of this scene. I wanted to go in so badly. Why would the map lead us here then take us somewhere else? What's the purpose? Just another clue. Dad. Not the time, Dad. Oh, God. I said I don't like dead bodies and skulls. Come here. Oh, shoot. I turn around for one second. 200 years of termite damage and rot. Dad, do what he says. Don't make him go first. What is that? The Metro? Ugh. I've seen this a million times and it still stresses me out. Just conveniently stops right there. Ugh. That would hurt, landing on your back like that. I'm, I'm sorry I, I dropped you. I had to say the declaration. No, don't be. I would have done exactly the same thing to you. Really? Hey, wait, wait, hey. wait, wait, wait. Ian, what are you wait. doing? Ian. We'll be trapped. Okay, douche canoes. With you out of the picture, there's less baggage to carry. What if we lied? Why would you say that? By the time Ian figures it out and comes back here, we'll still be trapped and he'll shoot us then. Well, hey, you got a couple hours or days extra. We're in the company of some of the most brilliant minds in history because 
you found what they left behind for us to find and understood the meaning of it. This movie always gets me emotional. Again, part of it's because of the score. The other part is just like the inspirational writing. It really makes me either want to go out and find some treasure or go out and make history to like leave something behind for future generations. Scrolls from the library at Alexandria. Could this be possible? That moment right there is what solidified my desire to be Abigail Chase. Because anybody who knows anything about Egyptian history knows about Alexandria and how much history and advancement was completely erased when the Library of Alexandria was destroyed. Because that was so much information and technological advancements for the time that were just completely wiped out. I just, ugh. It still gets me in the feels. Granted, was a lot of this treasure pillaged and plundered from other civilizations? Yes, so maybe we shouldn't, like, cheer for it completely. Riley, are you crying? Look, stairs. Riley again with the priorities. That would be terrifying. Here's what I want. Dr. Chase gets off completely clean. Not even a little posted on her service record. Okay. The only um, thing I don't like about that credit. is, does that mean so that Abigail doesn't get any credit for finding it? Someone's got to go to prison, man. Well, if you've got a helicopter, I think I can help with that. I feel like that's not how that works. In reality, both all of Sean's people and Ben Gates should go to prison. Like, whether he found it or not, he still stole the Declaration of Independence. Either way, we still stand. What do you care? We got the girl. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Enjoy your His spoil. face. For the record, Ben. I, I like the house. Could have had a bigger house. I love that house though. 16 years later, I still love this movie. It still brings me such joy. Every time I watch it, I feel like I'm relearning things because there's a lot of the little bits of information about American history that I forget about that when I rewatch it, I feel like I'm learning them all over again. There's still hopes that there's going to be a National Treasure 3. It's been in development for years. I'm still holding out hope because I think that would be amazing. And I really hope it would be about the Book of Secrets that they talk about in the second movie. And now I really want to go find some treasure and go be an archeologist or a museum curator. This movie always makes me want to do the really fun jobs that I had these little dreams of doing one day, but never actually took the time to get a degree in them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed this movie. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it with me. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this film and also what other movies you think I should react to. If you want to watch any of my previous reaction videos, you can watch them in the playlist up above. And I will see you guys next time. Happy exploring.